Hey guys, my name is Dave, and welcome to another Discussion of Rants video. Little interesting fact, this video is being recorded four hours before it's being uploaded onto YouTube. Today's going to be a little bit different. Um, rather than me discussing something psychological or therapeutic or neurological or, you know, what, what, whatever topic you want to consider it, I've actually got a list of questions that I'm looking at right now. You guys won't be able to see it, but um, <clears throat> it's a list of 20 questions. I'm going to answer each individual one. And just to kind of give you guys an idea of what goes through my mind, or what, the kind of person I am in general. This is more kind of on a serious matter compared to like the joking videos I usually do when I'm doing like gaming stuff or the serious videos when I'm talking about well, mental questions, mental statements. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, hopefully this doesn't last too long because I actually am kind of tired. I've been working on a lot of stuff recently. Anyway, uh, question number one. How would you describe yourself? That's actually a very interesting question to bring up. Um, now, I'm, keep in mind, I'm going off of this completely improv. Uh, I don't I don't have this scripted nothing like that I could technically have this scripted but I think it's just better for me at least if I just go into it impromptu rather than I don't even know the questions I'm gonna be reading yet not all of them I sell the first three I'm like you know what I'll do a DNR video on this um, anyway how I would describe myself there are a few terms. It depends on the aspect, but we'll go on the major, like the main ones. I am very soft-hearted, which means that's probably the best terminology to use because it leaves an open definition of usually what that means, which is I'm very kind to other people, but that also means that I'm very sensitive. Um, I can be hurt very easily, and those who have who know me for at least a little bit of time know this um, I'm optimistic to the most for the most part there are some times where I'm not um, as you uh, another thing I can add in for those who haven't seen anything gaming wise in my past gaming footage um, Depending on the circumstances, I can rate, I can get frustrated very easily, but it has to be the right circumstances to do that. Other than that, I'm kind of just a generic everyday guy, I guess. I have a girlfriend who I love dearly. Um, I have a family who I care for as much as they do me. Um, there are a lot of aspects to it. Just. Everything that I have listed already pretty much defines me almost as a whole. Maybe there are a few aspects that I left out, but if we're going to talk about that, might as well write a book. That being said, let's go ahead and head on to question number two. What is your biggest accomplishment? Oof. Oof. That's a tough one, actually. Um, what is my biggest accomplishment? I don't know. Um, there are a lot of co accomplishments that I've had in my life. Um, now, keep in mind, I'm not including YouTube just because when I started this channel in the first place, it was just for a hobby's sake. And this is the case for most people who do YouTube. They don't start it expecting anything out of it. Like, I still don't expect anything for them what I've already got. I am very appreciative of what I do have, mind you, but... I don't expect anything further. Anyway, um, unincluding that kind of stuff, I would say, oh, I don't know, probably, for, um, given the circumstances that I'm in, um, certain medical circumstances that I'm not going to bring up right now, maybe in a future video, but not right now, I would say maybe the capability of living on my own for as long as I have. It's more difficult for me because of my 
uh, mental state, how forgetful I am, how much I have be I've been a spender in my past, making it difficult to save enough to be able to actually pay bills, especially for the kind of bills that I have to pay sometimes. Um, I, I guess that would be my biggest accomplishment. Yeah, granted, I've had I've already seen this question. I'm like, oh my gosh. Next question is uh, doozy. Well. That's an over-exaggeration. But anyway, no, yeah, I, I, I'd say that's probably my best accomplishment since for me it is very difficult to pay off bills uh, without spending. I've gotten better at it, but over time, over time I'll be really good at it, hopefully. Anyway, onward to the next question. Have you read any good books? Where should I begin? Harry Potter? Percy Jackson? Um, Mortal Instruments slash Infernal Devices slash, you know, there's, there's quite a few of them. Um, current, I, I just recently, before the series that I'm reading right now, I recently finished a series called The School for Good and Evil. It ta it, it's, I, I love these series that I'm listing, by the way. Each individual one I've completely read all the way through. I'm not including past kid chapter books or picture books like Jumanji or that light just turned off um, but all in all yes I've read a lot of good books question number four what is your dream job <laughs> I don't think I have to do much more than that I don't really, in, okay, in all seriousness, I don't really have a dream job. I just, yeah, I'm going to turn the light on because this is giving me a headache. Hold on. Okay. That might help a little bit. Um, I don't really have a dream job, per se, and why is this on the wrong setting? There we go. I, I, I guess I would have things that I'd like to do in the future. Like, kind of a bucket list more than a dream job, but otherwise, that's about it. Um, the next question after that actually says, who is your personal hero? Uh-oh. I don't really think about this kind of stuff very often. Um, it really depends on the top. Now that I'm thinking about it, it really kind of depends on the topic. Uh, when it comes to just life decisions or life in general... My family, including my girlfriend, are definitely, it's kind of, it's, the thing is with this kind of thing, it's kind of a tied aspect, like life scenarios. My girlfriend, my parents, and my siblings, all five of them equalize to be um, personal heroes of mine as far as like confronting life goes. I, I just think, like, looking at the different things that each individual one of them have done, have accomplished, I look up to every single one of them for that reason. And I look for advice to every single one of them. I, I, it just benefits me the best, I think. If we're talking about YouTube, I can at least list four or five different YouTubers who all, one of them being my friend, actually, all of them have inspired me, and I would consider definite, yeah, heroes. Um, these people would be Jacksepticeye, uh, Markiplier, D9, um, DGR Dave, and game slash film theorists. I guess technically that's six, but I'm only counting the game and film theorists as one since it's the same YouTuber. Um, that being said, those are just kind of vague examples of the long list that kind of for me goes on for a while under that aspect. Question six is, do you have a life philosophy that you live by? Mm. You know what? I'm not going to answer this question because you can look throughout the whole discussion, the DNR uh, playlist that I have, 
and you'll kind of figure that out for yourself. Question seven, what do you like most about yourself? What do I like most about myself? I don't really think about this because I don't, personally, I don't like boasting about myself. And when I do talk about myself and it sounds like it, I'm always like realizing I'm like, oh crap, that's not what I'm meaning to make it sound like. Like I hate doing that kind of thing. So I don't really think about it very often. Um, but I guess if I were to, If I were to choose something that I really like about myself, I guess it would be the fact that I really like helping other people. I don't get the chance to do it very often, unfortunately, but when I do, it's such a good feeling, and I really do like that aspect. Um, question eight. If you could change the world, what would you change? The thing we're not allowed to talk about on YouTube. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say for that one. Question nine is also one I'm going to skip. It's what do you think is the meaning of life? I actually have a very specific video that talks about this and a couple other aspects within the same category as well. Um, again, if you wanna check that out, uh, you can either click the link at the end of this video or go check it out for yourself uh, within my DNR playlist. Um, it talks about life, afterlife, um, like a lot of different kind of aspects of all that. But I think it kind of does answer that as well. Let's see. Question number 10. Do you prefer working alone or do you like working with others? With others. I don't even have to think about that one. I don't like working on my own a lot. Um, that's why whenever I and a YouTube video when it's not a discussion and rant, no, even in a discussion and rant video sometimes, I'll always like ask, like I, I'm always open to input and I'm always like, I'll ask to see if anybody wants me to do a specific topic or a specific game or what, depending on the video. I like involving other people and I started doing live streams for that reason as well. I just think it works a bit better that way. Okay, question 11. Tell me something about your... Tell us... Tell... You know what? Tell something about yourself that nobody would know. I'm sorry, I can't answer that question because everything that I... I I'm a very open person in general, so... You ask me something, and if it's not going to affect another person, then... By all means, I'll answer. That's like the only time I won't tell somebody though, is if it'll damage someone else. That's actually the reason like I address my girlfriend as Silver rather than her direct name is because it's something at her request. And it's for privacy and I understand that entirely. Okay, question 12. What is your deepest belief about life? Oh my gosh, would you stop asking all these philosophical questions that lead to the same one video? Good grief. 13. If you could wake up anywhere tomorrow, where would it be? Easy. By my girlfriend's side. Simple as that. <laughs> I think the only thing that would really alter that answer was if I had somebody who was close to me who was uh, about to like pass away and I was only given the next little bit of time to go see them. Then I would choose with them. But otherwise, yeah, that's definitely my answer. What's the one thing you wish you could have a do-over for? Oh gosh, there are so many things. We all make mistakes in life and it's just natural. So if I were to fix anything, I'd probably go back to the point in time where I started getting a spending habit to begin with and I'd probably try to fix that because spending habits have damaged me in the past and I'm getting better at it as I said earlier in the video but it still does me great damage to be to have like this horrible spending habit that started in the first place so I think that's like the only thing I'd really go back and change next question question 15 and I believe there are 20 yeah there are 20 Okay, question 15. How do you work on yourself? 
Depends on what you mean by that. How do I work on myself? Um, I, I Not alone, I'll say that much. Whatever the aspect is, I never work on bettering anything on my own. Because I feel like I'd fail if I did. We'll just leave it at that. Assuming that's what it means. Next question. Question 16. What's the worst thing you've ever been through? The fishing mini game in The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it is horrifyingly bad, to be honest. It's so terrible. And I talk about it later on. You'll, you'll find me talking about this in a few well in a future episode for a very very small amount of time because i cut out the entire fishing section in general and i'm talking about it as an adult link not child link that one's not as bad anyway that being said let's get to the actual answer what's the worst thing i've ever been through Many people can relate to this, but a breakup. Now, the reason I say a breakup specifically for me is because there was a specific, it's a very specific breakup, not any breakup. I'm not talking about just any breakup. I mean one very specific one where my ex broke up with me. Sorry, she didn't break up with me at all. I broke up with her. Because I found out that she was cheating on me, I used a large amount of circumstantial evidence and accused something, and I was like, if you're not going to, like, because she would, she would not say anything in response, which made me question even more. So I just broke up with her, and that's where the definitive evidence, the definitive proof came into play, and I was right. So that breakup hurt. A lot. However, the person's name and... Well, I don't even communicate with the person. And when I do, it's very rarely, so... No point bringing her up any further. But, yeah, that's probably the worst thing I've ever been through. Mentally, physically, you name it, yeah. Who is the most important person in your life? Silver. I'm not... <laughs> that's not even much of a question. I literally, interesting fact, and it is kind of, it can be considered sad, but also not, depending on your perspective, but taking care of her, I mean, it matters more to me than taking care of myself. That's not an over-exaggeration at all, by the way. I have checked to make sure that her health is in good standing and completely space out my own. Of course... It's not abnormal for me to space out my own. It should be it should be normal for me to space out hers, being that, well, it should be equivalent, right? Nope, because her health matters more to me than mine. And I mean, this is a mental fact. This is something that can be proven otherwise, but I just, I think it is. Anyway, question 18 of 20. What did you discover about yourself when you la when your last relationship ended? That I have so the last relationship that I had, the last one that ended is the same one I mentioned earlier on. <sighs> one thing I discovered about myself is before that I didn't really think I had any hate towards any kind of thing, but after that relationship, I kind of started to realize the three things I hate are hypocrites, um, and uh, let's see, I'm trying to remember this direct details, mainly hypocrites, like, I don't, one thing that I really don't like is that when people don't like me doing something, I stop, but then they do the same thing back. And this has happened to me. It doesn't happen frequently, but it does happen, and it's it agitates me. That's one thing. Another thing is that I don't like being lied to, and I take it to really, really drag. Let's put it this way. You try to attack me 
in any kind of way, and I'll find ways to hurt you back in ways that you would not expect. But this doesn't happen very often. You'd have to hit very, very, very specific parts of me. You'd have to hurt me in very, very specific ways under very specific circumstances for that to work out. But other than that, there's not much else I've really discovered about myself in the past relationship because it's... Nothing else really notable happened that I can remember, at least. Okay, question 19. How does anger manifest itself in, in your body? Very, 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 10,000 varies very slowly. It doesn't, I don't get angry very easily at all. You have to have very specific, as I said earlier, very specific terms on very specific points in time. Okay, last question. And I'll end the video there because we are at 21 minutes. This is the longest DNR video I've ever done. <laughs> what question do you always want people to ask you about yourself? Any. I'm an open book. As long as it doesn't hurt anybody else outside of me, I'm an open book. I don't care. Ask away. With that said, um, I am going to leave this video here. If you guys have any suggestions for anything you'd like me to talk about as far as DNR goes, let me know in the comments below. It can be um, philosophical, psychological, it can be ranting about any kind of recent news, as long as we don't mention the, the dead horse on the table right now. And by the dead horse I mean the <clears throat> thing we can't mention on here. Anyway. Um, but yeah, if you got any suggestions, let me know in the comments below. Want to check out any other DNR videos that I've done? Playlist will be on one of these sites. I keep forgetting which one's to your left because my camera is really finicky when it comes to that. So one of these two will be the DNR video and another one will be a gaming playlist, whether it's my live streams or a random game that I played in the past. Um, if you got any suggestions for any games you you would like me you would like to see um, me play out of nostalgia, let me know in the comments below as well. If you are interested in this kind of stuff, where I just dis discuss philosophical or psychological stuff, I post one video every week at least. Um, if you want to see more of those, consider subscribing to the channel. And as I said. You'll see one every single week. However, in the meantime, I'm going to head off. Tired. Should probably get some sleep. But I'll see you guys either in my next gaming video tomorrow or in the next discussion rant video next week. Bye, guys.